Hello! Konnichiwa! Konbonwa! Srasvicha! Hola! And whatever. Assalamu alaikum! Today we're making a homemade lasagna from scratch. Absolutely from scratch. Pasta, home line yards. This is another edition of Trailer Gourmet in which I basically make up a bunch of stuff. But I promise you it does work and it will be delicious. I'm making two lasagnas actually, and they're not for me, they're for other people. But um, let's get started and we're gonna start with some uh, making the pasta and then we're gonna go from there. All right, so making pasta is the easiest thing in the world. It, it really is. It's really so simple. So all we're gonna do is take some eggs. Then we're gonna take uh, one egg, two egg, three egg, because they're not eggs, they're egg, egg. And then what I'm gonna do, I want the yolks, but now I'm gonna take out one, two scoops of whites. Find another eggshell that's not completely beaten. Fill it and fill it again. You could actually do this in a separate cup and that's fine. And then three, scoop and scoop. I want a little more egg yolk than I do egg white, but it's the egg yolk that actually makes the pasta a little bit better. So all we're gonna do now is blend that by hand. Yes, we'll do it by hand. And if you have farm fresh eggs, I swear it'll be a thousand times better. I do not have that luxury at this point. Hopefully I will soon. I'm gonna take the flour and make a base on the table. That's right, you heard me. Right on the counter. Now mind you, the counter is very clean. Let's get rid of that. I also have oil. And salt and that's all we need to do this what we're gonna do is make a little uh, volcano a volcano we're gonna make a volcano on the counter we're gonna push it aside like so add some baking no we're not gonna do that. we're not making an actual volcano we're gonna just make uh, pasta so I have three cups of flour and then what I'm gonna do is add about half of the egg to start and we're going to make a mess. That's all we're going to do. We're going to make a just a brilliant mess. We're going to mix it all together. Whee! What this is going to look like, it's going to look like shaky dough mixture. Oh, I love how it makes your hands all messy. It's just the best thing ever. I love it. Now I'm going to add about half of the oil. Now this is um, just a regular olive oil. It's a light olive oil. Now as you can see, I'm making a huge mess here, but that's fine. Hopefully this is going to be enough for two lasagnas. Now normally you do a, a four layer lasagna. I'm not doing that. I'm doing a uh, three layer lasagna. Now, now that I got it moderately mixed, I'll add the salt, a little bit of salt. Although it looks really messy right now, it's not bad. It's actually fine. It's going to be, we'll scoop it all up together. And as we mix it, it's going to blend. And then I'll chill this for about a half an hour. And while I'm chilling it, I'm going to make the rest of the stuff. And so you get to see how that goes. But basically, roll it out, get it all worked in. It's getting really close to being put in the fridge. And that's what we're going to do next. Once it's in the fridge and it starts to chill a little bit, we cook the rest of our stuff up. I'll be able to roll this out in sections and hopefully have enough to get a couple of zanias put together. Okay, so it wasn't quite enough uh, 
it wasn't enough for me. So I added uh, another cup and a half of flour and um, two eggs just to beefen it up a little bit because I know I just know I'm going to need a little bit more for two two lasagnas. So I take my bowl and I put a little olive oil in it and then I just mix that around, rub it around, get the bowl ready. Rub, rub, rub. Take the dough, the dough. Little Vanna White dough. Pasta. It's not dough, it's pasta. Plop it in the bowl so it doesn't stick like that. I'm going to cover this with saran wrap and I'm going to put it in the fridge for about a half an hour while I'm getting everything else ready. All right, so for the sauce, it's really important to be a little flexible. I happened to can some tomatoes last year and they were awesome. Three types. If you can use as many different types of tomatoes as you can for the sauce, the better the sauce is going to be. So I'm taking an existing sauce that I made and I'm going to add to it. And one of the key ingredients to a good sauce is not just the caramelized onions and garlic. Add very few spices, you know, the spices come afterwards. You want to get the base done. I'm adding tomato paste and diced tomatoes with some chili peppers in it because I need a little more sauce. And I strained it because I need a thick sauce. It's got to be thick. The sauce has got to be thick. If it's not thick, it's just, it's going to make a mess. You don't want that. Folks, if you could smell this, you would die. You have no idea how good that is. See how dark it is? I hope you can see that. Now I'm going to add a bunch of stuff to that dark caramelized uh, tomato sauce. All right, so before I do the uh, meat sauce, uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna chop up a bunch of stuff, put it in there and get it caramelized, sauteed, just enough. And we're gonna add some white wine to that to give it a little extra flavor. And then we'll add the meat. And I'll get to that in a second. But first let's get some chopping done and get that in the bowl and get it going. Right? Yeah. In order to add a little crunch to the meat sauce, what I'm doing now is I'm going to chop up a bunch of uh, sweet red peppers, <clears throat> yellow peppers, sweet, sweet, sweet. best fun things you can add to a lasagna, roasted red pepper. I don't know why, but for some reason, roasted red pepper is great. And I'm gonna throw that into the mix that I have already cooked. But for some reason, this adds a sweetness, sweetness and texture that is just really yummy. And if I had to say one ingredient above all else, besides the banana peppers, I think those are critical. But this is going to really just add extra layer of just good yumminess. Look at this sauce. It's a beautiful. It's on there right now. now this is the veggie mix. Garlic, onions, and mushrooms. Let that go and let's get the meat ready. This, this, this item right here came over on the on the Mayflower. Uh, Standish, yeah. This is an actual implement that came over from the old world. And I have to this day, which is wearing down but it was a wooden spatula that came over on that ship. How amazing is that? History 
right here. Cool, huh? Okay. So, I've got three meats, one of which is just regular ground beef, about 80%. This is from up the road, like a town over. So I know where it comes from. I know how it died. This, again, same place. It's a pork blend. And I heard that the pig died of natural causes. And so that's cool. This, unfortunately, has some sad news. This is from my neighbor. He, he passed and he wasn't really that nice of a guy. So I made the best of it. The bottom line is this, uh, three meats are good. Pick whatever you want. They need to have a fairly high fat content. If they don't, your lasagna is gonna be a little lame. Past that, have some fun. You can do a vegetarian version of this, go nuts. I don't have any suggestions for that, whatever. This is my parsley. Oh my God, it smells so good. Mm. Parsley, onions, garlic, the sweet pepper mixture that I made with um, just uh, three sweet peppers. And they're sweet. They're small, sweet peppers, yellow and red peppers that are like, I'm going to cook off the meat and then I'll add it to that. And then we're ready to make lasagna. So now I have a uh, spice blend. And this spice blend for the meat is kind of important. Not critical, but it's kind of, kind of important. I've got cumin, cayenne, uh, black pepper, sage, a tiny bit of nutmeg, and I mean tiny, Hungarian paprika, oh, herbs de Provence, just for fun, like oregano and just the normal spices. And so I'm gonna hold that, and then I'm gonna add my meat, and then add the spices, and it's gonna be perfecto, okay? Meat. I go with my, I go with my fattiest meat first. It's got to be fat. Get the fat going. Yum yum yum. Yum yum yum. Why wait? Throw the rest in. My neighbor, may he rest in peace. Okay, fine. It's Italian sausage, trezo. Yeah. I thought I'd play it out a little longer, but no. That's the way you want it, that's the way it's gonna be. Break it up. Break it up. And then, the hamburger. I'm gonna let this brown for a little bit before I add the spices. And after it browns for a bit and I add the spices, I'll add the um, veggie mix that I have in the background right before, right before I start to pan this stuff up. Well, I roll out the pasta and pan this stuff up and put it in. Add the sauce to it, and then we're gonna have ourselves an absolutely wonderful blend ready for lasagna.
Copa de morro, esmolada pica y recula afrontada, pero torna y baixa el cap a la isla y veu que moja. No, teu poc, sent gaire ser. Després aixeca el cel enorme a la banyada testa, amb un gran gesto tràgic. Parpelleja damunt les mortes nines i se'n torna, orfa de llum sota del sol que crema, vacil·lant pels camins inoblidables prendant llenginament la llarga cua. No. Topant de cap en una i altra soca, avançant d'esma pel camí de l'aigua, també la vaca tota sola. És cega. No. És cega. És cega. I en l'altre se li ha posat un tren. La vaca és cega. I en l'altre se li ha posat un tren. La vaca és cega. I en l'altre se li ha posat un tren, la vaca és cega. I en l'altre se li ha posat un tren, la vaca és cega. I en l'altre se li ha posat un tren. This is so much fun. I can't even begin to describe how much fun this is. So I've created the pasta. I just roll out and it fits exactly in the pan. That's why I use this method. This is not a Seinfeld episode. So we've got our pan, we've, we've got the uh, pasta in it, and so we're going to add a filling. Oy! And oh my god, it is... Oh, it smells so good, it's ridiculous. I'm just going to add a nice solid base. And... Oy! It's heavy. I think there's gonna be some leftovers in it. And I'll push this out. We've got some beautiful, beautiful cloves. Cloves? Cloves of garlic. Laid out there. Now, I'm gonna go easy on the cheese on this one. What I'm gonna do is add some um, grated Parmesan. Parmesan, name. But not a lot. The ricotta cheese. We're gonna add half. Half of that. Just. Oops, that's that's half. Okay. We'll mash that out a little bit. The next layer is kind of important, so we're gonna take another. This is a little thicker. The top layer is the thinnest, but uh, a little thicker. But we're gonna put this down, and I can actually stretch it out a little. It shrunk a little while it was sitting there for 10 minutes. That's fine. Oh, it feels so good, so good. Now I add a little more the meat sauce. so good oh the smell is just amazing and that's what it's doing in this case here we go with a fresh mozzarella and this is the best part these are fairly thick pieces and now I have two of them to make so I, I left half of it for the other one And you just spread it out. Once this melts and everything, it's going to be delicious. Okay. I'll throw a little bit of this mixture in. This is uh, a grated cheddar and sharp cheddar. And it's a, Mex a Mexican blend cheese. I'll throw a little bit of that on just to give it that je ne sais quoi. Final piece goes on. The final piece. I'll stretch it out a little bit. Because it shrunk just a little bit. Making pasta is so easy. Stupid easy. So we'll lay this on top. 
and stretch it out a little bit more. Rawr. Rawr. Now on this one, what we're going to do is do it super thin, super thin. Just one scoop and lay that out real flat. And this is mainly because I just want those spices to saturate into the pasta. All right, a little more. Okay. And but now comes the fun part. The fun part is this part. So we take our cheese blend, lay it across the top. To save the rest for the next one and then the parmesan that's not a word actually and i'm going to do half of this on this as well Whoop. now before i i'm going to do the other one the same way spread it out nicely oh this is going to be delicious and then what I'll do is I'll take uh, my Hungarian paprika and just do a little bit of a okay we'll do the same thing with the other one we'll have two lasagnas that are absolutely flawless we're gonna cook them at 375 for about 50 minutes 25 covered with aluminum foil and then the rest uncovered and they will come out absolutely flawless bang there's one there's two in they go it's been great fun let's do this again okay